Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I have more KS Craft embellishments and projects to show you guys. I have had a lot of fun using lots of pretty colors and this time I have been using five different sets. So I have used the Peppermint Candy Bow set, the 2024 Christmas Garlands, and the Christmas Wreath plus the Gingerbread Memory Decks card set and the Christmas Bottle Gift Holder. I love these sets so, so much. So I first started off cutting out this shape here. This is the um, smaller size. Hang on a minute. No, this is the larger size. In the wreath set, you get two different sizes. So this is the large one. So when you cut it out, it looks like this and you have to poke out these holes, of course. But I also learned that if you leave them, because as you gather um, different layers on, sometimes you don't have to poke out all the holes because you don't get to see some of them. So it saves you some time. So this one here has been layered three times using two different colors. And I really love the simplicity of this. This one, I used the holographic cardstock as well as the glitter white foam to give it extra dimension, as you can see. And I absolutely love these. So this is the two different sizes that you get. So you can even make them small and the larger one or Combine the two like this to make it even more dimensional. And can you imagine all of the wonderful things that you could add around it to have fun? Oh my goodness. So that's exactly what I did. I had a lot of fun. Now this one, I used the holographic and the glitter white and I decorated it like this. These bells here also is included in the set as well as these ones here. Now, my husband thought that these actually look like thistles, and I reckon they do. And also, in Australian version, they actually look like gum nuts. So if you Google that, you will get to see what Australian gum nuts look like. And I absolutely love the little tiny shimmer touches that I have added. I also added some Nouveau Drop to the middle of these peppermint swirl bits that I also added to this. I really love it so, so much that it's a pink holographic white theme and that's very, very pretty. I have another delicious sweet version. This time I use the truck add-on set pieces. Now in my previous KS Craft project share of the locker, the stackable locker, I have been cutting away with the Christmas truck um, truck box add-on pieces and so using those pieces I also decorated the wreath and I absolutely love how sweet this is. Now these holly leaves here they are from the garland set and I just chopped off the string part to add to here and I really really love it and yep I have added peppermint candy puffy stickers as well as strawberry because I live here in Australia and we celebrate Christmas and summertime and strawberry is one of the fruits that we do eat a lot during Christmas. I really, really love this. Then this is my absolute favorite. This is the larger version and look at this. So I'll move some of these so you guys can see. Look at this, you guys. Can you see how adorable these little gingerbread men are? This gingerbread is included in the truck box add-on set. And I love their little smiley face. So, so adorable. And I shared my little gingies when I completed them through my Instagram stories. And many of you have liked them also. So thank you so, so much. I included the peppermint candy cutouts. Now this peppermint candy cutouts are also included in the garland set and I will get to show you that real soon. I, I think they are just so, so sweet. And with this one, the wreath set also gives you extra pieces 
that you can stick in between to layer and make it look more dimensional, you get lots of different pieces. And so I cut them out in glitter foam sheet, holographic, uh, metallic, you know, metallic um, greens and things like that to add in between. And I have all of this here that I can use in my other projects as well. I love my wreath. Okay, the next project I want to show you are the garlands. Now, I have started using my ready-made garland pieces in the other things that I'm going to be showing you today. These are the, this is the bow one. How sweet is that? I love it so much. And this time I used the mirror cardstock in the fuchsia pink. Then I alternated two different glitter cardstock to make it really pretty and unique. This one I cut out in the foil pattern paper for the base. Then I added the holographic gold on top. And this one here is the peppermint candy. I just used the rose gold glitter cardstock to do this one here like this. Then this is just the base of how it looks for the Christmas stocking. And then this is how I decorated it. Now with this one, I did mine slightly different. So with the Christmas um, stocking part, you get pieces that look like this, you guys. Can you see? Now this piece here is actually supposed to go on your socks like this, I believe. Hang on a minute. So like this. So it looks, I think it's supposed to go something like this. Yeah. You see what I mean? So the add-on piece is supposed to be added on like this to make the Christmas socks or stockings. But I decided to use this piece as a decorative part of my Christmas stocking. And I added it to the top and it looks really, really good, I, I thought. So I'm using it that way. Then I also made the holly leaves. So instead of adding the holly berries, like I said, I'm in Australia. So I added strawberry in the middle. And I think that's super fun. Crafting is meant to be super fun. You can add whatever you like. And this one, I just used some pops of colors to add my little tiny berries. But I really think that the strawberry idea is super fun for me. So I have those that I can also include in my future project share. I also have my beautiful tray already. I have these candy pieces that I want to show you. I've got these peppermint candies ready made for me to use in my other KS craft projects that I will be making real soon. Now these peppermint candies are included in the gingerbread memory decks card set. I absolutely love these so, so much. The size is absolutely perfect. You can even layer on top of this to make your tiny embellishment clusters if you wanted to. I think they are so sweet and I have made them in various colors, like all the rainbow colors pretty much, so I can use it for whatever project I can do in the future. So I've got those ready made. Now I am going to move on and show you my peppermint bows. Oh my goodness. So you get two sizes for the peppermint bow set. And what's so unique about this one is that you get that detailed added piece. And I used glitter foam. Can you see? It's a foam that has been layered on top of the holographic cardstock for the base of the bow. And I really think that just makes it so dimensional. And I think it just makes it so, so pretty. And you get a rectangular piece that you can uh, wrap around in the middle of the bow. But I usually don't like doing that. I usually like to decorate my bows differently instead of using the rectangular piece. So I'm going to show you more of my red pepper red and white version 
And this time here, I added a Snowflake Puffy Sticker as well as the Peppermint Candy Puffy Sticker. And this is a resin piece that I got from BB Craft. Absolutely love these. So sweet, aren't they? And I have a lemony one and a peppermint candy one. I love them so much, you guys. And this is such a good gift idea in your happy mail for Christmas. This is a minty white version with the glitter cardstock. I think it's just so pretty. Absolutely wonderful. Then this is another sweet one. This was actually a button piece and I chopped off the back to make it flat to add on to the middle. How sweet is this teddy bear, right? And of course I made more, but I used them in what I'm about to show you. Now before I move on, I what else do I have to show you from my tray? Oh yes. Okay, so next lot I'm going to show you are my... Ta-da! My champagne bottles! This is a gift card holder. So I cut out the large shape um, just without adding the gift card part. So let me show you. So you get this piece here that you can choose to cut out or not. I What I did was I just cut out the two of the bottle part. Then for the front part, I glued the front and back together, but before I did that, the back piece, I used this one to cut out the um, slots to include your gift card. So that's how my back looks. So you can include your gift cards there. So make sure when you are gluing this piece that you only glue on the outer line, not everywhere in the middle because you want to be able to lift this bit up to include your gift card, okay? So this is my green version. I did a green, white, and gold. I think it's so elegant and very pretty. So you get layering pieces of this bit here and here. You also get a long rectangular piece. And I really love how I chose many different shades of green for my champagne bottle. You also get this piece here, which is a label piece that actually looks like this. And you guys, I got addicted to cutting these two pieces. Why? Because I decided that in the future that I might want to do some embellishments on, put some embellishments on there for different projects. So I've got all these variations, you guys. All of these for me to use. When I start to like something, I just cut as much as I would like to. And it's just so addictive, you guys. So this one here, I use the um, poinsettia paper that I had. And this one says, fa la 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 la. And here is the peppermint candy that I added to this bow here. And see how I use different pattern paper for the base? It just looks so, so nice. So everything doesn't have to be matchy-matchy. You just do what makes you happy. And this bottle set gives you these detail pieces, the buttons. I um, cut out the buttons and the, the belt buckle piece in glitter gold foam. I just love this color so much. And so then I decorated it like this. So you, in this set, you get that piece, this, the button, the buckle, the long piece, and this one here, the label piece, and the top. I just love it so much. It's so pretty. Then, of course, I had to do a pinky version as well. But this time, instead of using all of the pieces that's included in the champagne set, I decided to make this one a bit different. I had this large snowflake that was all glittered up anyway and it was so pretty and i really wanted to shine that snowflake on this pink bottle so i also added a rosette piece on top of my um, snowflake ornament and then this snowflake here what it is ta-da see i told you if i like something i just cut away so many 
I've got all of these different versions here. Now this snowflake is actually included in the gift card holder um, memory decks card set that I will be featuring sometime soon. And I had to use these snowflakes. I started to make one and I just got so addicted. I made lots of different color versions and I use the plain cardstock mainly for the bottom part. Then for the snowflake detail, I use the glitter white foam. And I think it's just so pretty. Can you imagine putting a bag of, you know, filling a clear bag of these and gifting to your friend? I think they would love that because they can use it for so many different things. So this is my pink one. And I really, really love my pink peppermint bow. Oh, for this middle, I decided to accent my peppermint, um, smaller size peppermint candy here by using the outer layer of the button. See how it's got two different pieces there? You can actually separate them. So I use the outer gold part to decorate this bit here. And then on the label, I used the Rosie Studio puffy sticker that says Merry Christmas to you and yours. I think it's so pretty. I love this so much. And that's the other side. Okay, so I've got these to use for Christmas. Then my Memory Dex card of gingerbread. Oh my gosh. So I did two different versions, you guys. So I had this... Um, Really lovely rainbow star pattern paper. I think that's part of the Urban Marshall Fantastico collection, I believe. And I, when I saw that pattern paper, I thought the stars looked like the sprinkles on a cookie. And so I really wanted to use it. Instead of just sticking with the traditional gingerbread color, I decided to make a white and pink cookie gingerbread. So I did that. And then I, um, these decorative pieces, it comes with the set, which is so, so wonderful. So I added it here before I added the decorative pieces. The eyes and the heart cheeks and the mouthpiece and the icing for the head is also included in this set, you guys. I absolutely love the size of this memory dex card. So having a um, memory decks card die like this, it makes creating memory decks super fun. So I'm, I am learning to actually like this. So this one here, the what this gingerbread is holding is the say, um, Christmas stocking. See, you see that Christmas stocking garland piece that, that I added. Plus, these are the bows that's also included in this set. I absolutely love these bows. And I added the bo three bows on top of the um, stocking garland. Can you see? I think it's so sweet. And then you also get these heart button pieces included in this set. Now this gingerbread boy is wearing a pink hat. Now this hat is included in the snowman stamp and die set, which I will feature in my next probably next chaos craft share and i have been die cutting the hat part and the snowman part and i thought i think the hat will be a perfect fit for my memory dex card so i had to use it i really really love it it's so sweet then i also had this really pretty paper um, it was a single sheet of paper that I got from Spotlight here in Australia. And I thought the brown and the tiny heart was just perfect for a gingerbread. So I had to grab one. So for this one, I wanted to make it like a gingerbread cookie with white icing. So I used the glitter cardstock, um, white glitter cardstock to cut out the frame, the outer frame part that's got the stitch detail, which I really, really love. And I used the icing hair part and the decorative icing piece all in white glitter. And for the peppermint bow, I thought this hot pink color against the pastel pink was just perfect next to my candy cane garland. And for the candy cane, 
See how the candy cane cuts out like this, you guys? I decided to, so after cutting out the base part, I decided to um, cut out the detailed candy cane part in the pink foam. So I added that on there to give it dimension. Then I also wanted to decorate it further by adding some puffy sticker bows. Then these are the holly leaves that's included in the garland set. See my, remember this garland? So I used this uh, die, but this time I used the um, glitter green and I just cut them off to add on to the candy cane. It's just endless options with KS Craft die. I absolutely love this so, so much. Now with this gingerbread memory dex card, I also want to mention that I can literally make a ton of these and I can have like my mini album version instead of just using it as a memory dex card. I truly love everything that I have made and I hope you guys have really enjoyed looking at all of my happy things and I hope you get to craft with some of these cutting dies as well. Thank you so, so much for all your kind comments. I truly appreciate your time spending on my channel. I just can't thank you enough. Thank you so very much. And thank you so much, KS Craft, for supplying me with these dies. I am absolutely enjoying being on the design team. Thank you so, so much. Bye for now.